What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another unboxing because I need to get some air into the tires of my bike. Alright guys, let's get this open. Let's see what I got in here. Straight from Amazon. Alright, cool. Look at this. Alright. So this is a Pro Bike Tool bike pump with gauge. So this is from the same company that made the torque wrench that I got. And I was really happy with the company based on that product. So now I decided to order their bike pump with gauge. But this is a small bike pump that fits right on your bike. It does press the end Schrader valves. It says that it does up to 100 PSI or 6.9 bar. And that it has an oversized piston so that we can fill up faster. Basically 30 times less... or. 30% less strokes, they claim. So again, I'm always impressed with packaging. I don't know why I was commenting on that, which is kind of funny. But uh, let's get this open. I really like this case. Um, on the back here, it actually tells us a lot of the features of it. So compact and lightweight, CNC machine and aluminum alloy. Here's the high pressure, the 100 PSI I was just talking about. Um, it has a nice hose that actually fits inside of it and comes out, which we're gonna see, which actually has the gauge on it. And it's flexible, so it makes it a little bit easier when you're on the trail or just when you're trying to get in there and pump up uh, those tires. Um, it's 8.75 inches long. As I get that open. And it's 4.5 ounces. So it's pretty small, pretty light. Um, I know a lot of people have different brands that they like. This is just one that I picked because I was really happy with the company from the previous product, from the Torque Wrench. So why not stick with a company that I'm pretty happy with their products? It does have the mount so that you can mount this basically where you would put your water bottle on your bike straight to the frame um, hangs off the side i need to make sure that it doesn't get in my way when i'm pedaling or something else uh, but we'll take a look at that on the bike in a minute so the gauge let's actually get this out of here and see if we can start taking a look hose with gauge should be on this side let's see and it screws out so this is a, oh look at that that's cool all right so let me make sure you guys can see this. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be blurry or not, but right here it actually says Presta. So this is for the Presta valve. And on this side it says Schrader for the Schrader valves on that side. Uh, so what you do here basically, is so since that's Presta, we're gonna take this and we're gonna screw this in here. And now this pump is set up as, so you can see it the right way, the Presta side. Ah, very cool. Now to take this off, this, oh, this is like a rubber, kind of a little bit stretchy, not too stretchy though. But that's nice, it just pulls off, and this should actually pop out. So it's in here kind of like pressure fit somewhat, I guess you could say, kind of pops in, but then this has a little additional safety to keep it in there, which is nice. So we're going to pop this off, we're going to pop this out. Ah! <laughs> um, so this is actually a really nice pump. That's it. So we are going to check out the tires on my 2021 Trek Marlin 7. They do have the Presta valve stems, and we're going to see if we can get these uh, filled up and what the gauge actually looks like and how it works. All right, guys, before we jump over to my bike, I actually just pulled this out. I didn't realize, but uh, along with having all the different specs on what this bike pump does, uh, if you open it up, it gives you some instructions, which are really nice. So this is a really nice package overall. Um, you know, they make sure that with the press of valves, they mention how you take the cap off, then you need to um, unscrew the neural tip of the press of valve uh, counterclockwise all the way open before you try to fill it. So this is really nice that it actually gives you instructions on everything that you need to do with this. It tells you where to find that hose, which, you know, you guys saw me just do, and it tells you how to hook it up and everything. So this is a really nice package. They have everything here. Really happy. So let's get uh, working on my bike. All right, guys. So we're looking at the wheel of my 2021 Trek Marlin 7 here. XR2 comp tires, you know, the Bond Trekker wheels. So we're going to take off the valve stem cap here. Now what we need to do is that there is this little thing here. We need to loosen this all the way. And I believe once we do that, we can push on it to make sure. Yep. All 
All right, guys, so I just filled up my back tire also, and it was, it was really about 100 pumps almost exactly to get about 10 PSI. So that'll give you guys a good uh, just idea of what it takes to get 10 PSI out of this pump, at least into these tires. So um, one of the other comments that I saw that somebody mentioned that they didn't like about this was that if you hold it this way, it automatically kind of goes down on its own, right? It goes back, I don't think it goes back the other way, right? Because that's where the pressure is. But somebody didn't like that, so they said they tied it up or something like that. So one thing that I noticed is that with this, this actually has a bigger side here. So you need to snap it properly so that you have this part in here and this part in here. And now it doesn't do that. But because of that and because how it's longer down here, you need to mount it based on how you like it because this is kind of angled. So I'm gonna put it on this side here so that most of the length is further down. If you were mounting it on the other side, you couldn't just flip it this way because then it kind of sticks out towards you. I mean, you could if you really wanted to, um, but you'd have to mount it up this way, which is another idea. And then in here, you know, you can't mount it this way because it's way too close to the chain here. Um, so if you want to do the other side again, you wouldn't really do it this way because it'd be sticking out. You'd have to do it kind of like upside down here, which isn't too bad. This actually looks kind of good too. I don't know how I feel about it being upside down because if this does come loose and kind of falls down, it's going to be right here, which isn't a good idea right by uh, your crank. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put it on here and see if I like it. So let's get this mounted up real quick. This is a five millimeter. All right, so as I'm putting this in, this, this bar here is actually more squared than round. Um, but this still fits fine. I didn't know if it was going to fit okay or not, if it was going to look okay. But even with that square profile, it still fits pretty good. So that looks pretty good. I don't mind that right there. I'm going to have to ride it. I'll let you guys know later on. But um, I don't think it's going to get in the way of anything. You know, you got clearance here. That's no problem. Um, if you don't like that, I guess maybe you would mount it upside down, but again, this piece could come down, but it would, since it'd be mounted the other way, it could come down this way. Um, not sure if I'm a fan of that. So there's a couple little quirks to this, but overall, I mean, it's a nice package. It looks nice. Uh, it'll get the job done on the trail as an emergency. It's probably not what you want in your garage as your only pump, um, which kind of, that's where I'm at right now only because I don't have a, another Presta valve pump. So I got this to kind of see how it would work. I'm definitely going to need some kind of, um, full pump for it or some kind of compressor or something in here, especially if I'm gonna be doing more with the bikes. But I have air in my tires now more so than before. I only had about 20, I lost a little bit of air. I am back to normal, I feel good. All right guys, so I appreciate you guys checking this one out. I hope that you like this review on the Pro Bike Tool. Uh, if you guys can, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. I'm pretty close to about 500. I'm at like 480, 481 right now. So I'm pretty excited to hit that 500 mark. So if you guys can help me out with that, that'd be great. And I will see you guys soon. Have a good one.